welcome back to Black Swan Outdoors and today we're going to talk about using the winds and telemeter for range finding. All right, well, welcome back. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to use a Winson Laboratories quadrant telemeter for range finding. There are so many great things you can do with this device. This is probably one of my favorite tools that I take out with me in the field, uh, and I've written a lot about it in the past. Uh, so if you're interested in the different uses for this, you can read about it on our blog at www.blackswanoutdoors.com. Now, um, one of the things that we did uh, previously, and I'll link to this post, is we talked about how you can use this for uh, translateration, which is very similar to tran uh, triangulation, for those of you who um, uh, know about uh, how to find locate your uh, position on a map, uh, you can use it for this. You can, of course, use it for range finding, which is what we're talking about today. Um, and uh, you can also use similar devices, uh, particularly this, this particular one, for finding your longitude and latitude. Uh, and uh, in out in the field as well. And we did a long post on how to do that, how to find your location using simple tools. Um, you can use it as a protractor as well for measuring uh, your um, uh, positions, your bearings on a map. Um, um, you can use it f for anyone that travels a lot for um, you know, for target terrain familiarization. Um, you can use them for covert ar um, area studies in uh, non-permissive environments and conflict areas. Um, I did posts and written about this, uh, how to use, uh, use this device to set up a landing zone for, uh, for say something like a helicopter in case of a, any kind of emergency, evacuation, um, exfiltration, um, things like that. There are lots of uses for this device also for in radio communications. We talk about this in my book, uh, Gorilla Radio. Um, and you can apply um, this to building antennas, um, to using line of understanding line of sight communications, all sorts of different stuff in that. In that. Um, this is a tool uh, that's very common, commonly used for anyone that's uh, like a designated marksman or sniper um, applications uh, that needing to do trigonometry on the fly. Um, this can help you with doing that kind of math. Uh, so any kind of sharpshooting uh, that um, to uh, measuring the distance of tunnels, the depth of wells, um, pretty much anything that you might see in an urban or rural environment. Um, and then, as I said before, to help you with you know, kind of celestial and terrestrial navigation. So there's a lot of th that's kind of packed into this. And so we'll be doing uh, a few videos um, on how to use it. As I said, today we're going to talk about range finding. Now this is a tool that I take with me uh, when I travel. Um, everywhere I go, I carry this with me. And if I have some time, I want to pass some time and kind of do something fun. Uh, I like to take this and do measuring uh, things and doing some of the different uh, tasks that you can do with this device to kind of keep my skills brushed up. Um, this is something that I carry with me when I'm deer hunting. Um, I can do the trigonometry of the angle of the shot from a deer stand at a particular right range. Um, I can do this on, uh, off, you know, of course, ranging off the ground, um, and uh, it makes for a lot of fun. Um, it makes for a, a, it's just a great tool to have with you um, as a primary tool, or even as just a simple backup for other tools. So I certainly like to carry with me um, a monocular or binoculars with uh, range finding capability. You can um, you can also judge range with. Uh, with a scope as well. Um, so inside this device here we have a, a reticle and then you can essentially do very similar to what you're doing with this device. Uh, with the reticle you're just lining up the, the object um, with that reticle and then dividing the uh, angular height uh, by a thousand and that's going to give you a roughly a range. Um, now I can do that with this uh, as well. I can range find with this so I can judge the angular height with this and then instead of having to do the math, I can do the, all the math um, on this, on this uh, computer. Uh, if I don't have a device like this um, or a scope, um, I can do use the, the, the card itself uh, for calculating that height. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the edge of the device the left edge of the device to the thing that I want to measure. Uh, in this case today it's this lighthouse um, and then I'm going to judge that height. Now I do need to uh, judge the distance from that height. So what that means is I need to have the distance or the height of that object. 
Um, so you can simply go on Google and search the height of many different objects. Uh, heights are almost always listed of different buildings and statues and different things in your environment. Um, before you go into an area, you can just kind of do a quick look of different types of things that you might want to measure while you're out in the field and have a list of that. Um, I carry with me a book uh, that has all the different um, heights of different things. I have different kind of uh, tips and tricks that I carry with me here. And one of those pages is a list of all the heights uh, of different things, fence posts, conics boxes, cars, people, um, uh, light posts, all sorts of stuff that I have in there. Um, and then I can use that then to kind of measure distance on the fly. All right, so to range find, all I want to do is put the uh, card um, right alongside the left-hand side. Uh, uh, gives me the uh, angular size. I want to measure the angular size from the ground up. Uh, so it's 0.4. So I'm going to take then the string uh, on the left-hand side of the device. So 0.4, and just hold that with my finger. And then I'm going to bring it to the other side. Uh, two, three and a half. So three and a half because the string runs across on this diagonal side of the nomograph. It says 4.8. So what that means is 480 feet or meters, sorry, away. Um, in feet, that would be 1,584 feet away. Um, so that's 0.48 kilometers um, in distance. So about a half a kilometer away. Um, is where that lighthouse is. So that's just how one usage that you can use with the Winston Telemeter. Um, as I said, there's many, many other things you can do. So if you're interested in this, please let me know below and we'll definitely do some more videos in the future. Ask any questions and I'll have links to articles uh, as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for subscribing.